let's start with an update on the deadly shooting on the set of the Alec Baldwin movie Rust. So the assistant director Dave Halls is breaking a silence over the shooting, saying he was shocked and saddened by the death of Helena Hutchins. Dave's lawyer also insisted that it wasn't his job to check the gun that he handed to Alec Baldwin. Here's what his lawyer had to say. Expecting an assistant director to check a firearm is like telling the assistant director to check the camera angle or telling the assistant director to check sound or lighting. That's not the assistant director's job. If he chooses to check the firearm because he wants to make it sure, make sure that everyone's safe, he can do that, but that's not his responsibility. I like how lawyers take normal logic and twist it around and make you feel insane, right? <laughs> right. If someone hands you a gun and says, there's no bullets in here, cold gun, you'd feel safe to shoot it, right? If I gave you matches to play, to give your kids, and they burned down the house and I said they wouldn't light, would I have some responsibility in that? I mean, that's that's logic, and that's logical, but I mean, not to attack lawyers, my father was a lawyer, but that's what they do. They're supposed to take things that are logical and make you look at another way, because all they need is that little seed of maybe a little doubt, and that's all they need, so that's why they play with language the, the way that they do. When I saw this, Erica, I just saw somebody not only obviously saying that this isn't my fault completely, but I think I'm waiting for somebody to throw one person directly under the bus, because it seems like they're kind of playing around passing the buck. I'm waiting for somebody to start naming names. Like it was Erica that gave me the gun. She said it was fine. I'm waiting for that day because right now it seems like they're kind of playing nice. Well, I think the implication is that day has come when we are having these conversations about this incident on set. His name has been brought up for a multitude yeah. of reasons. Um, there were a few incidents that happened pr uh, previous to um, the actual sh fatal shot also another project that he worked on. I'm looking at this from an aesthetic thing because now it really feels like this attorney is more making the rounds for the court of public opinion than necessarily the judicial system. Um, just the idea of the platform that they chose to go on, will there be more empathy for this person um, and getting ahead of it because obviously his name is being used as maybe the fall guy. Yeah, as the fall guy. Well, let us know what you guys are thinking. It is still the story. We'll keep unfolding and we'll keep updating you. But speaking of the shooting on the Russ movie set, take a look at what former Real Housewives star Kelly Dodd and her husband Rick Leventhal dressed as for Halloween. So she dressed as a Native American and recently found out she was part Native American. Uh, and he went as Alec Baldwin from the Rust movie. So Rick defended his costume choice, telling Page Six, quote, in no way was I trying to offend anyone except Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. He's a jerk and he deserves all the heat he's getting. So expand this for me. And do you guys have a problem with like this kind of Halloween costume? It's Halloween all hands off. You can do whatever you want. Or is it like this was really just like in poor taste? There's a lot going on here. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. just say that. We could go on yeah. many different angles. But Erica, I like your take on this. Which angle would you say that this family is going for? Uh, this angle is called the thirst is very real. <laughs> thirst is real angle. Yes. Uh, first of all, you know, good job on Kelly Dodd finding out her ancestral connections and history. Um, I too did my ancestry and it turns out that I'm 45% Nigerian. It was never the one or the two thought for me to dress up as a Nigerian for Halloween. So that's strange mm -hmm. in itself because that's not a costume. Um, also with her husband been hey there is somebody for everyone okay because Rick and Kelly found each other sis if you're still upset that you are no longer on Real Housewives of Orange County just say that <laughs> just say that you don't have to do all these outlandish things in order to get attention it's just for press yeah I mean I, th I think they're filming now the show's going on without you it happens all the time housewives are replaced but see that makes get a sense grip. I, I'm thinking about all the people that that took pictures of the the reenacting the George Floyd scene just regular people that weren't on the Real Housewives that took those and posted that on their social media and I always thought the, the fact that I'm seeing that is crazy but the fact that they posted it meant that most of the people that they know follow them would have been okay with that they posted it to their own social media so maybe there is a faction of society that is okay with somebody's death 
happening in order to go after somebody that they don't like. Clearly. And it's just it, it just blows my mind. I find it very distasteful. I think and But I you probably don't follow them. Of course I'm probably so, not in that art. I'm probably not in that. I so then are they just feeding the line that is their followers? It read me yeah. to the lines. My problem is Helena Hutchins. Like there's someone who's dead here and I just find it a little egregious in that case.